Hi, my name is Tim. There's a special section in the Options dialog when it is opened from a Calc spreadsheet called LibreOffice Calc. This section has 10 pages. Several of the pages have the same names as the pages in the LibreOffice Writer section. The Writer section appears in the Options dialog when the dialog is opened from a Writer document. Grid is the only page in the Calc section that has the same items as when it is in the Writer section. This video will give a basic overview of the Calc section. It's the tenth video in the series on the Options dialog. For those who need to know how to access the dialog, watch the first video in the series. The general page allows you to activate or deactivate various items in the input settings section. It allows you to change the unit of measure for metrics. It also has se several options for updating links. The defaults page allows you to set how many sheets will be in a new spreadsheet document. It also allows you to, to give a prefix name to the new sheet. Each sheet in a new spreadsheet will have the prefix name followed by a number. The view page has five sections, display, window, visual aids, objects, and zoom. The display page allows you to see or leave hidden various types of data that can be inserted in a cell such as formulas and zero values. The window section allows you to hide or view different elements of a calc window such as column and row headers or the horizontal scroll bar. The visual aid section allows you to show or hide grid lines, page breaks, and help lines while moving. The object section allows you to show or hide objects or images, charts, and drawing objects. The zoom section allows you to choose whether or not to synchronize the zoom on all the sheets. A check in this box means all sheets will have the same zoom percentage. The calculate page allows you to set the level of precision of the calculations in a spreadsheet. You can set the number of steps and iterate a formula performs. It also allows you to specify the difference between two consecutive iteration step results. In the general calculations section there are several settings for how Calc will compare cells for, for search functions. The page also has three settings for the, start, for the starting day zero. This is how Calc calculates dates. The formula page has four sections. Formula options, separators, detailed calculation settings, and recalculation on file load. The formula options section has a drop-down menu that allows you to set which formula syntax to use. The separators section lets you configure separators in your formula expressions. This comes in handy when, for example, you want to separate your function parameters by commas instead of semicolons. Detailed calculation settings allows you to configure formula syntax to use when parsing references are given in string parameters. Recalculate on file load allows you to choose how calc recalculates Excel and open document documents. The sort list page shows all 
text-based lists that are available to a user. Lists are in the list co column. Each item that is in a selected list is in the entries column. New lists can be added by, by the user. The changes page allows you to set colors for changes, deletions, insertions, and moved entries. These are for when you are tracking changes. The compatibility page allows you to choose default or openoffice.org legacy key bindings. Key bindings are simply key combinations that are pressed to perform certain functions. The grid helps you position objects in a document. This page has settings for the grid that is activated through the view menu. The page allows you to set the number of subdivisions and the resolution of the grid. It also allows you to set whether or not objects can snap to the, to the grid. The front page gives you control over what elements of a document are printed and which ones are not. It allows you to suppress output of empty pages and to apply manual breaks. It also has a setting for printing only selected sheets. This video has been about the calc section of the options dialog in LibreOffice. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the options dialog in LibreOffice, watch the other videos on this channel or playlist. There are also videos and articles on OS College's website.